Hey everyone, so I'm back again and uh, the next step would be contour. Um, as 2015 is the year of contour being a trend, um, I'm going to start off with my blush. It's called um, Hawaiian Hula from Miss Sporty. And yeah, this is basically my holy grail because I use it every day. I also have a contour stick from a retail store and um, it's kind of brandless. It's called Maximore, but it's not really a known brand, so yeah. Um, I'm also use this one because I think this is easier to contour with. And uh, you just put your brush in there. Always start at the beginning of your cheekbone. So you're going to want to put it like this. Of course, contour shouldn't be too strong because look, it's really strong. So you're going to have to swipe it out. And you have really strong contour. Which is really pretty if you like strong contour. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is basically just to show everyone how I do my contour. There you go, back in with your brush. And if you think there's too much on your brush, what you just do is this. You tap it off. Like, you tap off the remains of the stuff you put on your brush. I basically think this is the easy easiest brush to use because it's good for my cheekbones. It doesn't um, spread too much. It's directly put on my face. And then you put on here as well. Always go to the outline of your face. Also here, here, because I don't know if a lot of people know this, but contour is supposed to make your face look smaller, which is what it's doing right now. Because you can obviously see my face is going like this. So it's going downwards, which makes my face look smaller than it actually is. And that's exactly what we want to do, so it's going the right way. So the contour that I put right now is more appropriate for parties, um, special occasions, because if you put this on a daily life, everyone's going to be like, girl, you put on a lot of contour. But if you love a lot of contour, I would say, do it. Because I love a lot of contour as well. It makes you look really fierce. And that's what I want to look like. I mean, I can take on the world right now. Next step is highlights. I have a special stick for this. This is what I do always use. Because this stick works best for me. Just put it on here. See, you can already see it glistening in the light. You go like this. You follow the trail of the contour that you put on already. And this is basically to create natural glow. You can also buy a highlighter in powder, in powder form. And yeah, I think this is easier because it will stay on longer. And it's also easier to apply because you can like whoop, swipe it in one motion, and then you blend it into your contour. That's also something you have to do. You have to blend the highlighter into your contour because it's supposed to make the contour look a bit softer and to make your face glow up, which is really important because that's what we want. We want our face to be glowy. Blend that shit. <laughs> 
and then you have a natural glow. It's really pretty. That's my personal opinion. I think it's really pretty because it makes you look like a fairy somehow. Then we did that. Um, then we're gonna move on to let me see my big friend, the big brush. You already saw it before, and now you're gonna see it again. It's called All Over Powder Brush Number no. Two from Hema. It's a Dutch brand, so I don't think it's available in other countries. But I thought it's smart to say it anyway because if you come into my country, you can buy it. And uh, yeah, this is also something that I always use because I have used this brush, but this brush is literally only to apply the contour. And if I think it's too strong, I use this one. And just blend it together to make it look less strong. Because, of course, it's good that it looks strong, but I have to spread it around my face well, which is also really important. Also, on your jawline, and then there's a step that you could also do, but this is something I never do myself. Because it's pretty risky this is something I would use my contour stick for and that is to contour your nose you would feel why the hell would you contour your nose it's the same as with your cheekbone to make it look smaller and that's exactly what I'm doing right now and this feels really weird and I'm not used to doing this but I thought let's show everything Everything, baby, everything. We're gonna contour the whole face. So, you do is the same as with the cheekbones. You swipe it and you make it smaller. Like this. And you blend it, you blend, you blend. And then you blend, you blend, you blend. You have to go up to your brows, blend the shit here, and then if you do this correctly, your nose should look smaller. This is not an essential part of contouring for me since I think my nose looks perfectly fine, but if you're insecure about your nose, this is a good tip to avoid plastic surgery, <laughs> in my opinion, because you can see the difference. My nose does look way smaller than it used to look. And then we use this one, because for the same as cheekbones, you don't want it to be too strong, because then it looks like you just put two brown stripes next to your nose. That looks ugly, and we don't want things to look ugly because that's not what we buy makeup for and you swipe it again and you're done with the contouring baby <laughs> so I hope this was useful uh, I personally really like to do makeup some people call it a waste of time but for me that is not the case since I really like the process of putting on my makeup because it makes you look like a complete different person only this and this can make me look totally different and uh, that's what I like about makeup the effects of makeup on someone's face and how it changes how it changes your features <laughs> I'm Dutch so don't hate me it's really hard for me to pronounce some words and uh, yeah that is something I'm struggling with sometimes with English. But uh, yeah, I really like how it changes your face. And that's basically it. I hope you guys liked my tutorial. And um, 
I will see you guys later.